Thursday. Let's try this again. Um, let's try and get back to back to the plan. So planning just to go out for a 10k easy pace today, just to ease into things, um, and then just hopefully the 10 by 400 uh, session tomorrow, and then park run Saturday. So I'm off work Thursday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, so that helps massively with trying to get back into the rhythm of getting out. I'm a bit achy all over, and I'm just there, like, I'm not feeling the best, but I'm just just need to get on with it now because um, everything which has been major, like the viruses and all the other issues, is gone. It's just that feeling of um, the general cold like feeling this time of year, cold symptoms. Um, I'm just trying to get the motivation to get out. It's easy when you're in the rut and you're, you've got momentum and you're rolling forward to just keep going, but starting again is just really, really tough. What makes it more difficult as well is the bike is so nice and it's nice and easy, no impact, and it's in the warm and you've got the tunes on and it's just, just really nice, really easy. Obviously, unless you're pushing it and absolutely thrashing yourself. So um, it's always tempting just to jump on that, especially when the weather's like it is with the snow. So I was debating doing a 10 by 400 session now, but I've just, like I said, I'm a bit achy. I just need to do a bit of a test to run just to see how I'm feeling. Try and, um, try and get back into it. The last few months have been so, so tough. Since she's, um, since our has gone into nursery. So... It, it's just been really, really difficult to try and um, not be hard on yourself and not blame yourself for, because not everything's in your control to prevent. Um, but it's easy when you when you get a few illnesses and you pick up a few bugs. It's easy to think, well, what am I doing wrong? Am I not drinking enough water? Not taking enough vitamins on board? Not got a balanced enough diet? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But in reality. <laughs> It's not that complicated and you should be able to live a fairly straightforward existence without picking up bug after bug. The one thing which obviously overrides everything is Ariane has just started nursery and it's peak winter and it's the aftermath of COVID-19. So um, all these things have made a bit of a perfect storm and um, the one thing I keep saying to myself is um, no one else is experiencing this unless they're in my shoes and, and sat in the same boat as I am. So um, unless you're in my boat, then you don't fully understand um, what's going on and how things are impacting us as a household. So um, because it's quite, it's quite easy for people to say, ah, oh, you're always ill, why are you always ill? You must be weak or you must be not taking the right amount of vitamins or you must not be doing this, you must not be doing that. It's easy to say that, but um, sometimes it's just a bit of bad luck. That's my moan for the day out of the way. So all is not lost. It just so happens, starting the plan back up this week and carrying on where I left off, which is on the third week, or the 10 by 400 session week, because all the sessions are different. Um, that will land me nicely for a finale, a goal race of the Race for Victory 5K, the Cardiff. Closed streets, well-supported race. So that's a bit of a bonus. And... Um, Hopefully I can just pick up where I left off. Yes, it's going to be more difficult. Yes, I've probably lost a tiny bit over the last few weeks with the bashing I've taken from all these um, illnesses. But you're sick of me saying this now, I'm sure. But as long as we're improving, it does not matter by how much and by and how quickly we get there. Let's just keep improving because that's what the um, purpose of this whole vlog and my channel is, is doing trying to get better um, whilst balancing what life has to throw at us. Predominantly work and new dad duties. I'm going to stop rambling. I won't be taking the camera with me. I think I'm going out with Josh, my brother-in-law, and we're just going to do a few laps um, at 
like an easy pace, five minutes 30 per K. It's absolutely freezing. There's snow on the ground. I'm sure he's gonna be a bit of sleep. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite difficult to pick the camera up and crack back on after a bit of a stop start few weeks. So I'm really glad to just get this bit out of the way so we can just crack on business as usual. So I'll see you tomorrow for hopefully what will be a 10 by 400 session. Also, I forgot to mention the small fact of I did Newport Half on Sunday and um, did a bit of a steady effort. So I put up the details of that race and the medal and stuff and what it looks like. So I, pl I planned to a bit of a steady effort with that um, and the overall aim was to be around 140. So I was absolutely spot on for that. Um, and that meant that, um, so Monday was absolutely recover obviously walking the dogs in bits and pieces like that, but no running. Tuesday, I did a bit of bike, um, which was nice. A uh, 30 minute sesh, I think it was. Wednesday, um, I had it off just because the way the rotor worked with uh, Ari Amway and I was on night duty, if you like. So I had to do that. And then Thursday, so today, I know it's Thursday, some way through the week, but this is probably the earliest opportunity in normal circumstances that I could get out for a run. Yes, I acknowledge that you could get up at like five o'clock in the morning and be absolutely hardcore and do it that way. But that's just not how I operate right now. It's Sunday. Move this session from Friday, just because I was on my feet all day in the morning. We went to Cardiff, we got the bus and the train. So taking public transport, you realize how much you're on your feet. Absolutely exhausting, so just did a 6k with the dogs, 3k each in the evening. And then my mum came to visit Friday night. Hi mum if you're watching. And then Saturday morning had a park run at the Newport Park Run. Run around Chadiga House. That's like a trailer one. So I decided just to do like a 90% if not probably a hundred percent effort around there just to have a good blast and uh, 21 minutes three seconds so I was really chuffed for that that's a course PB and I think it's recognized that it's quite a bit slower than like a road flat one so I'm not like absolutely fresh today it's probably a bit of a silly idea to do a hard effort yesterday with this session but here's what it is just gonna put in a good effort I haven't done a lot of volume this week, as you've seen. So, just gonna give it a go. Get my, get my mind back into the sessions and get back on the plan, and then go from there, really. So the biggest, like, positive to take is, it's only 400 meters, the reps, but there are 10 of them, so. Just have to see how it goes. Start, start off hard and then just do as, as, like, tough of an effort as I can manage and just see where the times are. It's not the end of the world though. Even if I miss the target, it doesn't really matter. I just need to get back onto this plan. So last couple of nights, Friday and Saturday, had a couple of late ones and a bit more alcohol than I'd like, but so I'm, so I'm, so I'm knackered basically. Um, but I, well, that just emphasizes how important sleep is and doing all the right things. But this morning, had the oats, bacon sarnie, loads of fluids, vitamin C tablet, um, electrolyte tablet. So, feeling good, let all that settle down as well. So no excuses in terms of like, fueling this morning. That's gone really well. So without further ado, let's get this cracked out. Let's give it a go and then catch up after. We did it! Oh, I felt really good there. Like the legs, the muscles, everything felt really good. Literally just said the GoPro was about to die and it did. Absolutely smashed that, so happy. Don't know how much you got, but legs felt really fresh. All the muscles felt really good, probably because of the like, long break I've had, because of all the illnesses, give the chance to the body and the muscles to rest at least which I thought was a bit of a blessing. 
amongst all the crap that I've been dealing with in terms of illness. Um, all the reps are around 1 minute 22 for 400 meters. I think they're around like the 3 minutes 30 per K pace mark. Uh, and then towards the latter end of it, I had a little bit of headwind to deal with, which isn't a problem, but um, I've run up and down the path, so headwind one way, and then it was slightly easier the other way, which probably works out um, even in the end. Uh, and the last couple of reps, sorry, were just hard going, legs felt a bit wobbly and it's absolutely gassed towards the end, but so chuffed to get it done. Massively blow the pace range. Really wanted to just go out and work hard, like I said at the beginning, and just see what I come out with. So massive confidence booster, because it's easy when you're off, to, like I was, to be thinking, for goodness sake, like, what's the point? Well, I might as well just start again, because I've massively messed up the plan. But just keep going, keep cracking the sessions out. Do as much as you can, like, like I've always said, even in the last series then get to the end and you'll probably be a little bit better than when you started. Otherwise, something's seriously gone wrong. So that's not me telling you that. That's me telling myself you're just fortunate enough to hear that. So, so, so chuffed. Worked really hard. It wasn't easy, but not supposed to be easy. So happy days. <sighs> Almost hurt even holding this up. Not as ergonomically friendly as the old GoPro. So just do the cool down now. That wraps, it, wraps up this week. Not sure even how much mileage I'm on. Hopefully I can hit the 30K mark because that's a little bit of a like target I like to hit on a weekly basis if I can, uh, amongst everything else. Um, that's it really. Good week, really, really good to be back. I hope this is it now. I've got a bit of a cold and a bit of a headache now and ge generally feeling a little bit and like not 100% but that's nothing compared to the, the stuff the major stuff the bugs and the viruses we've had I've had and we've had as a household so just gonna keep cracking on hopefully nothing significant comes in the way which is going to stop me completing this plan getting the sub 19 done or close to and then wrapping this series up for you all watching at home the subscribers are growing slowly so thanks to all the new people who joined the channel and subscribed and are joining in on this like community sort of thing going on um and please get in the comments and contribute because it just creates a bit of a like community feel and that's what we like in the right world so thank you well done everybody and see you next week